Hi everyone and welcome to day two of our Ayurvedic Spring Detox video series. Yesterday I talked about what is detox and the concept of ama in Ayurveda and today I want to talk about how to detox with yoga and mindfulness. But let's first look at how we can reduce ama. There are basically four ways on how to reduce ama, which is yoga, mindfulness, lifestyle practices, food, diet, and herbs. And today I will talk about the first two, yoga and mindfulness, and tomorrow we will talk about lifestyle practices and food. So let's start with how to detox with yoga. And there are basically four different kinds of yoga poses that you can use to help you in your detox. The first are twisting yoga poses, then we have back bends, forward bends, and inversion. So let's start with twisting yoga poses. They basically squeeze your abdominal organs. This helps in the regulation and circulation of blood through the stomach, the gallbladder, the liver, the spleen, and the intestine. On this slide, you see a couple of yoga poses that are really good. So these include any kind of twists that you do in a chair pose, in a high lunge, in a low lunge, but also a seated twist or a supine twist. Next, we have backbending yoga poses, or the term that I more like to use are heart opening yoga poses. So these yoga poses strengthen your back and they will create pressure in your abdominal area, which just encourages the waste elimination and digestion. And good examples of back bends or heart opening yoga poses, you see some of them here on the slides, are a camel pose, a upward facing dog, a cobra pose, any kind of bow pose. So every pose where you really open your heart and lean back. Next up are forward bending yoga poses. These yoga poses will compress the stomach, which will also stimulate any kind of waste removal and digestion. And if you do a forward bending pose where you really lean forward like in this third pose on this picture where we do a standing forward bend. This is additionally good because we have fresh blood flowing into our head and with that we filter through of a lot of our lymph nodes. So good forward bending yoga poses are a seated forward bend, a wide legged forward bend, standing forward bend or any kind of forward bend in another pose. Let's then move to the last set of yoga poses, which are inversions. And inversions are known to soothe the nervous system. Practicing inversions is responsible for any kind of lymph fluid drainage, and it is really good for blood and lymph circulation throughout the body. Practicing inverting yoga poses is really, really good for our immune system and it boosts metabolism and stimulates the thyroid gland. And good poses you can do here are legs up the wall, any kind of headstand or handstand, downward facing dog or dolphin pose or a bridge pose. So I recommend you pick a few of these poses and put together your own little detox yoga flow that you can do every morning it is also a good idea to just start with a few sun salutations in the day because it gives you a lot of energy for your day. Create some heat, but don't really drain your body. And this is another important thing during your detox. You don't want to overtrain. So doing a complete HIIT workout is more probably not the best during your detox. Be gentle to your body because you don't want to put any stress on your body. If we put stress on our body, which like training for a marathon is, then it will hold on to everything that it has, which includes fats and toxins. It will not, it doesn't want to give anything away because it is in a state of stress. So try to take it easy and practice gentle yoga poses. And this also brings me to detoxing with mindfulness, which is probably the most important part of your detox. So how can you 
improve your detoxification with mindfulness. You can start by meditating where you just sit down every day, maybe for two minutes, close your eyes and focus on your breath. You can also download a meditation app. I really like Calm or Inside Timer. So this is all really good to go inward and to be in the present moment. The other thing that is very good during a detox is pranayama or prana. So prana is the life force, life energy. And we often see it as air. And this is why we have this term pranayama, which is um, breath and work. So it is air, the word prana, which is breath or air, and yama, which is work. So these two combined is breath work. So any kind of breathing exercise during a detox is very good. So you can just sit and inhale and exhale consciously. You can do alternate nostril breathing or breath of fire, which is very beneficial. Or you can do a very easy breathing exercise where you breathe in for the count of two, and exhale for the count of four and do this a couple of times and you will feel how more relaxed and full of energy you will feel. Other things that are good for your detox is to connect with others. So to not do a detox alone, to have someone to do this with, this will really help you in your success rate and reaching your goals. It is also important to slow down during a detox. So that's the same as I said with training for the marathon. We don't want to put our body in any kind of stress. That's also why we want to create a routine because a routine gives the body a lot of stability when it knows exactly what happens. We want to check in with our mindset. So you should not do a detox only because, let's say, you want to lose some weight. Really go a step further and figure out why do you really want to do a detox and maybe journal on that. And the other thing which is really beneficial for a detox is to turn off electronics for a couple of days or a couple of hours. Don't look at social media. Don't look at the news it will really help you in your detox. So this is a quick overview of how to detox with yoga and mindfulness. Tomorrow we will talk about how to detox with food and lifestyle practices. But before we do that, I quickly want to remind you about my 21 day Ayurvedic Spring Detox. It starts April 5th, so make sure you sign up as I said yesterday, we will go through three phases, prepare, cleanse, and rejuvenate. I also have some content prepared for you for the pre and the post detox phase. So you move um, gently into the detox and also gently out of the detox that you can take the impacts and the effects that we create during the detox for a long term. Here's again a quick overview of what's included in the detox. You will get a bunch of material like my ebook, my detox toolkit guide, a shopping list, a daily journal, a before and after journal to see your progress and figure out how toxic you are. You will get detox yoga flows. You will get video lectures from me, live calls and three seven day meal plans. So if you want to detox with me, make sure you sign up. Early bird pricing is available until Sunday, March 28th, where you can save $100. And I hope I see you there. Bye.